Hi, John. This is Shannon with Classy and Sassy Digital Marketing. Thank you for taking a quick moment to speak with me yesterday. So I am going to go over just a few things that you can do to get your name out there more in the online presence of those that are looking for realtors in Roseburg. Um, you can either do it as an individual or the company as a whole can. So it's completely up to you. So a couple things I'm gonna point out is content, backlinks, and citations. And I'll show you what it might look like if you do this. So first of all, as you can see right here, I just searched for Realtor in Roseburg, Oregon. Now, with Google, your ads are gonna go up here, so they're gonna be some of the first ones seen. But right here is what we call the map pack. This is where you wanna aim to be. Um, the most people are going to get phone calls off of here. It does take some time, but it is doable. Down here, we call it the organic listings. Again, you want to be on the first page of Google. So that's just kind of real turn Roseburg, Oregon. So then I search for you in particular. You have your Facebook page, which is awesome. A um, couple of citations in different places. One thing I would recommend is doing a Google business profile for yourself. That will help start ranking you and getting you to that first page of Google. So one thing I want to go over is content. Now content, um, Google likes to see anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 words depending on competition and number of keywords available. Now a keyword is anything someone might type into Google looking for that particular service or product. Google likes information. So in that content, you can strategically place keywords to tell Google exactly what you're about and it will put your website in front of people when they're searching for it. So being a realtor, you definitely want to tell Google that, hey, I'm a realtor so other users can see it. So let's take a couple looks at some pages. So this is the company you work with, um, does have some content and pictures can be considered content as well, as long as they are labeled and tagged correctly. So that's one thing to keep in mind. One thing I did want to point out is when I s pulled it up, it's showing me that this website's not secure. So you might want to let Mrs. Curie know, I know you guys said you do your own website, um, that it's showing her website is not secure. Here is a competitor of yours. Great, another modern looking website. However, it's lacking content. And here is another one. Definitely has some content on there and that's what you wanna see. So a great video, which helps get your name out there as well, grabs the viewer's attention and whatnot. So let's take a look at backlinks. A backlink is anywhere you find one website linking to another via clickable text. The idea is that these links act like an endorsement of your website from others with Google users to build trust in your business by seeing others vouching for you. It's pretty much a popularity contest where the person with the most wins. So if I pull up the backlinks, so let's pull up yours, well, your company's, um, 223 backlinks, here's a competitors, 394, another one, 428. So this is a good example is of all backlinks, backlinks are not created equal. So you definitely want relevant backlinks rather than random backlinks. So even though this one has 428 backlinks, this company is out beating them and they only have 394 backlinks. So what I can do is I go in here and I look at their backlinks and I can see exactly where their backlinks are. And you'll see a no follow backlink versus a regular backlink and you want regular backlinks. They're called do follows. So that is a little bit on backlinks and why they're important. Um, so let's go over citations. Citations are extremely easy to do. They are time consuming, but like I said, they're very easy to do. All a citation is, is anywhere your business phone number, name, and address are shown exactly as your Google business profile. 
they're in places, various places and directories such as Yelp, Angie's List, um, Expertise, Better Business Bureau are some of the ones you may have heard of, but there are thousands of directories out there. This is what helps you rank in the map pack, which is extremely important for local businesses since these can generate huge amounts of revenue. The idea is to begin to add up creating your online presence, allowing you to be seen more often by both people and Google. Once Google sees you more than your competitors, the more likely it is to rank you above them. And that is how you get in the map pack and on the first page of Google in the organic listings. Another thing I wanted to point out is I can look at here and see that from their, this person's online presence, they're getting 163 organic traffic to their website, to their Google My Business or Google Business Profile, excuse me, they changed the name. Um, and so, you know, if they're even getting 50% of these phone calls, you know, that's almost 75 phone calls there. And then if they can count them as clients, they're getting quite a bit. Here's 221. So definitely seeing the organic traffic and what is being delivered to their site is very beneficial. Once your content, backlinks, and citations are all coming together, you're beginning to outgrow your competitors. So this is what I do for a living. And while this video is going to help you start generating decent amounts of revenue, if you want to step it up and go after larger areas or more keywords, please just let me know. We would just have a quick chat to find out exactly what your goals are and we can go from there. If you could please leave me a one sentence feedback on the video and how it may have helped you, I'd greatly appreciate it. I wanna ensure I'm adding value to people and businesses out there. Again, thank you so much and I hope you have a wonderful day.